Hey everyone, we continue our Minecraft series and in this one we're going to do two things. We're going to color shift with different colors and uh, we're also going to uh, go to the village and um, I'll show you the new construction I have done there with glass. So um, I'm just going to make some space. Let's temporarily put these items here to open up space for colors. Now where did I put those? I already prepared them. I think I put them here. Yeah. So we'll have several colors, two reds, uh, not two because we're going to make them into dye and that's going to give more. So that's going to be two red dyes, let's see, two yellow dyes, two blue dyes, and then uh, from the ink sank, I think you make a black dye so there we go uh, we can also make an orange um, out of the red and the yellow but I think I have that and we can make a purple from a blue and a red so we'll do one of those because I also have one purple sheep so let's go to the sheep first you will already see them um, a lot of colored sheep here as I expanded the area, they have more grass and therefore um, many of them have regrown their wool. So now let's color them. This one will be blue. Yellow. Yeah, we need yellow. Two will be yellow. Purple. You and you. And first time we'll have the black ones. I also want to make sure I have some white ones left. I don't want to convert everything. Uh, let's see. Let's make you and you. And that was and one more red. That's gray, I think. We need more light to see better. Alright, we need one of the white ones here to become red, and that does the coloring. So now I can use the shears to get all these different colors of wool. And of course they will regrow this, uh, and, and I can keep on harvesting these um, indefinitely. So this is a cool trick not to waste uh, or not to waste time gathering flowers or not to waste flowers to get all the different um, colors of wool to craft different carpets and whatever uh, banners or whatever you, you may want without using flowers non-stop. For other items um, like glass you still will need to of course use the flowers as dyes but for now and a gray one we also have so I think I have a lot of colors I don't know if I have them all we certainly have many colors the blue one regrew right if there is a grass block they regrow very fast otherwise they have to wait for the grass blocks uh, for the dirt to become grass so we have a ton of new wool We'll store that together with all the other wool. I may have one additional color now, so let's check it. I think it's in this bag here. No, not the melons, that's not wool. Okay, we have a pink wool, which is the first one we have. Didn't have that before. And we'll grab half of the white wool to make beds in the village. Oh, light blue is also first time, okay. You can also uh, furthermore choose the kind of um, colors you'll have. If you choose which sheep you breed, um, like for example, if you want more light blue, you can breed two light blue sheep. Or if you only have, for example, one pink sheep, you can breed the pink with the blue and you have a 50% chance of getting either one of those. All right, so now that that's done, uh, let's take the items. Where did I put them? Over here. And the food. Let's see. Also for trade, for trading, of course. 
Let's see, I have an additional furnace here helping me cook uh, things. Alright, let's take full stacks, potatoes, carrots, maybe one less sugar cane and one more potato. And I also take an, a one, one stack beetroot with me, a stack of melon, a stack of uh, pumpkin. It should be good. So let's make it morning. All right. And the farmers and stuff over here, I collected a bunch. They regrew, but I don't have space now since I've taken a full bag load. So we're gonna run to the village, which is not far away. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys this new. Uh, mining area I built So I decided to mine uh, Straight from the village all the way down to the diamond level and I'll show you that next time I Found some more stuff there, and it's nearby the house. So I don't have to run to the dungeon All right here we go We can swim one breath to the dungeon entrance which is exactly one breath here you see the torches but I'll pop my head up a little bit and we'll swim a little bit more for since we're not going to the dungeon but we're going to the village so we can get off a little bit later here we go strange sound maybe they're trying to scare me Now, we did lose a villager on the last zombie siege, but um, we, since that we had a couple of more births in the village. So we have two leather workers walking around, although I never gave them uh, a workstation, but there must be a workstation in the village somewhere, otherwise they would not have found the profession. Here we have the bugged cartographer, so I was forced to make him a cartographer. Uh, for now, I'm going to just quickly put the grass, uh, not the glass, the glass into the back to open up space. Um, and let's go first to visit the house over here. Where we have our farmer together with the toolsmith. Now, I gave all my coal to the small uh, toolsmith and I ran out of coal. And he only takes coal or iron ingots, and I don't want to give him iron ingots. But already a bunch of options have opened up. Uh, we can buy, for example, an efficiency shovel, uh, iron shovel for six emeralds. Although I, I find that a bit expensive. And for two em uh, emeralds, um, a diamond farming tool. But I don't think I need that. So I'll wait until more options open up. This farmer, I came here first because he is not master yet. So I want to trade everything to him to make him a master or as much as possible anyway so he could have taken more potatoes but I don't have any more all right he is now leveled up so we should see the bubbles there they are so now he's a master farmer and let's see what opened up nothing interesting unfortunately only emerald trades but we can continue giving him potatoes and melons. Although those that's not a super great amount of emeralds, but still it's something. Here I have added a ladder and that's the exit for when, if they do breed and make a new villager, a new one will exit here. Now on this house I had a problem. Oh darn. Um, on this house I had a problem. I don't know how it happened, but the new villager he never came here and so he is now grown up and I'll have to find another way to get rid of him so for now let's um, trade what can he take he can take oh but this is already a master farmer so we'll have to come back to him later and the librarian is also master and uh, unfortunately he doesn't have anything I need um, but we can buy, let's say, compass for three. I think that's a great trade. 
Uh, otherwise, there is a channeling book, but I don't really need that right now. Alright, so that's that house. Now let's run over to the other team, which is over in this house. Here is the bugged cartographer, who is not bugged anymore, but it's, he's forced to be a cartographer. I couldn't change his profession. So I will have to give paper to him. And our farmer, who got bugged at one point, so he's maybe a permanent farmer. And it's a master farmer, but he's the only one who takes carrots in this village. So we'll trade everything we can to him. Already 30 emeralds, he is full. And we'll come back to this house because this house is the entrance for my construction, which I wanted to show you, which is, as you see, over there I talked before about making a, a bridge. We'll, we'll go there in a moment. I just want to trade all the resources first. So we'll have a couple more carrots and then we'll need paper. There we go, as much paper as we can. We'll leave the remainder of the sugar cane there. Let's see, the wool we'll leave for now, I'll do that later. And you see, I gathered already a lot of emeralds from trading. So I can buy whatever I want when they have a good trade. For example, I bought a second uh, sharpness 2 sword from the weaponsmith over far away in the corner of the village. So let's see, oh I have some coal remaining so we'll take that. Uh, we'll leave the melons and the pumpkins and take coal and maybe more paper or well, let's take the pumpkins with us. We'll go back to the, uh, to the cartographer and give him paper because he's not master yet. Let's see how much he takes. Okay, that's all he can take. To the farmer, we'll give all the carrots. Apparently, he can take a lot. Wow, he took all the carrots. And he has a good uh, exchange for the pumpkins. Thank you, guys. Now, off we go to the toolsmith. We still have some paper left. We can give that to the librarian. There's something is wrong. I think they're stuck. Or the game is stuck. I'm not sure. Okay, these guys are stuck. Let's see if I can go to the other house. Okay. It was a moment of lag, apparently. All right, let's give him the rest of the paper. That's all he can take. He can take more books or book in quill. He can also take for one for one emerald. I think that's looking good. And this is the guy without profession. We'll deal with him later. Now coming back here to the smith, we can give him all the coal. And that's it for now. We can also buy something from him to ex increase experience, but I think I'll do it with coal. And to the farmer, I don't have any more potatoes. Okay. I think that's, uh, that's it for now. I'll do it the rest later. And for now, um, and by the way, here is the leather worker walking around. I'll probably change his profession later, but um, there are two of them around the village somewhere. Alright, let's for now put everything uh, tradable in the bag. We'll get to it later. Oh, I forgot to give the beetroot. Okay. Let's take the glass. We'll also leave the emeralds. This we don't need. 
and yeah now we'll we'll run over to the house over here because here is where I have the entrance oh wow they are experience blobs must have been left over from the lag farmer gave us some carrots let's trade it back to him one emerald oh he gave us bread as well interesting okay so let's go up here we'll need a to get rid of this dirt block, place it. No, 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 no. I don't want the villagers to go up yet, so I'm blocking them. And here we'll have one room. Um, this bit can actually be removed because I have a roof above. Okay, I'm not sure if this bit can also be removed. Let's check, yep. Alright. So here we have the, the roof of the house. Which opens up here already. Let's replace that. So here they will have one room, possibly two beds. I'll deal with that later. And then here is the entrance to this um, massive tunnel where we only have one uh, solid line, a roof line above made of half slabs and glasses which are fully blocked so the villagers cannot fall or jump or anything um, going all the way on top of the village and opening up into a farming area here and here I just put the block below so here we can have the other piece of water so here they will have two farming areas to get food from and then here we can break this up into rooms uh, for several villagers so they can actually live up here I still want one solid block on the roof line which is why I'm keeping these half slabs going it also makes it cheaper for me uh, not to use too much um, glass I already use a lot of glass to get this structure built and here the the place will be a too high but I think that should be enough for the villagers I could try to make it three high but that will cost me an additional glass uh, block but let's actually do that so we'll do here and here and then we'll start going one up and we'll need to go one higher so let's put a dirt block one higher and then we'll have the half slab over there let's make a crafting table in any case we probably will need one around here make some half slabs so we'll have one um, over here so that it closes with this and then the next one can be um, one higher like that like that And like that so this will cost me more glass but uh, they will have um, a roof which is one taller there and the next half slab I can put on the top level so here they'll have a taller roof like that and the corner glass block I don't think I need to put it so we'll we'll need one two three the same one two and then one two and three so that's going to cost me two additional glass box uh, blocks per level but uh, and the additional height is welcome because here you can already jump a little bit and like I mentioned we will also make a room so it's not going to be just one long hallway 
we can uh, we'll separate these into rooms of uh, probably equal size and here we can see our observation staircase and for now I can close off uh, this part with perhaps full planks and if I if we will need to uh, the floor is of made of full planks the it's the ceiling only that's using the half planks so we can go up to here we can have torches here of course not to forget the torches here we don't want any monsters to spawn here and we can have a window here and if we need to expand we can break it but for now this can be quite fine we'll use some of the glass blocks for a window the ceiling we can close off now uh, we need another plank here for which I need to it's too tall for me all right there so now technically um, we'll double check but there should not be any way for them to fall anymore have more torches let's put it here there should not be any way for any place for them to fall and we can separate that into rooms uh, a bit later so for now I want to open it up um, for the villagers to, to come up here but here I have the last entrance as well so I need to go to the roof one more time here this was the the roof that we saw here here you see the large structure now we need to put torches up here which is why I needed to come up to the roof one last time we'll be generous with the torches There. now this whole place should be well lit the farm is pe uh, the village is peaceful below they're all sleeping I'm just looking to see if there are no zombie hordes attacking looks looks all good all right and uh, normally we don't need to come up here anymore of course we can always make a path or a ladder or something uh, but for now it's good and we can permanently close this entrance with a glass block and a half slab so that should be closed the torches I'll probably move them to the walls or something not to have them um, in the air uh, in the in the ground Let's do that. So they have a luxurious uh, living area, which I think uh, or I hope uh, it will be 100% uh, safe. So here we'll put a door, but for now um, it can remain open. I think I have a door in the chest and I can open up um, the path. If they want to come up here I will open it and therefore for this house um, I will not make a uh, an exit for a newly bred villager so the newly bred villagers can come up and the way I can also lure them up is um, of course I'm missing a staircase here is by putting their workstations over there because they will have to walk to their workstations I can also move the beds there and so forth 
So um, actually let's separate them into their rooms also because they'll need their beds they need to feel safe uh, or something of the sort I read and for that they need to f feel uh, detect a roof above them and they need to uh, of course uh, have their beds so let's have rooms one two three four four size rooms and they will also need to detect doors so we'll do something of the sort here and then we'll need a half slab here so with a doorway here this becomes a room and uh, we can have two beds in each room the farming area can be open uh, to everybody but let's see if we have a room here one two three four five six seven eight so they can have maximum four so or one will be smaller one two three four three if i put a wall here this room will have three spaces and this room three spaces okay we'll do that let's move the torch And because everything is made with glass, they'll have natural light, a light uh, area. So there'll be a door here, a door here. We'll just need to replace the torches. Here we have already. Let's put them lower. We'll move the crafting table. Doesn't fit there. One, two, one, two. And then above. A half, half slab covers it. So he'll be here, there will be a door as well. So that's one room, two room, three rooms already. Farming area. Do I have my farming tool? No, I don't. So we'll come back to convert this into a farm and the hallway can be made of longer rooms so not broken by every four but simply um, let's remove the torches we can have one door here half slab and then we'll have we can have a room of one two three four four should be enough if I, I'm imagining like a bed a bed for example so here should be good so this can be one room for example torches so we needed four squares okay so we'll do one two three four this can be another room. One, two, three, and four. And this can be another room. We just need uh, some way to put a door here. Let's see how shall I do it. So I don't want to put it in the middle. Yeah, that's not ideal. So this one will go. These rooms will be a bit larger, I think, because of the diagonal. So we'll have them. It's tough to put a door in there. Okay, let's do like this. So a door can be here. And this will be a larger room and this could be the other the last room with a door here another larger room all right so that's that um, we can get out of this house the villagers already woke up let's take the melons and pumpkins to trade later
I have several cats also. I saw a brown cat, I think, and a gray one. So we'll tame the cat at some later point. And I have my beetroot farm over here. So we can collect those for trading as well. With the uh, plants that have seeds, it's relatively straightforward to just clean it all out and replant after because uh, you cannot eat the, the seeds so it's easy to hold the right, mu right uh, mouse button. the beetroot I can trade with only one of the farmers but it's good enough. We'll take the pumpkin on the way back. Oh not this one, over here. So whatever is miscellaneous comes here. These can go into a compost pile or something. Uh, for now let, let them stay in the back. Where are my torches? So I put the torches away. The food goes in here to trade later. Potatoes and pumpkins. The bread and the emerald go here. Oh, I forgot the crafting table with me. Okay. And we have a bunch of staircases, but we only need one. Let's take them. And I was checking if I have any doors. I have one door here. And the farming tool. So we'll need a couple of beetroot seeds, a couple of potatoes, carrots, see what else, the trader is somewhere around here, I hear his llamas. Red mushroom, lily pad, pumpkin seeds I have, light blue dye I have, spruce sampling, and a blue dye. I'd get the spruce sampling because I don't have it, but um, they're nearby the house, I can get them as well, and plus the cost is too high. So we will not trade with him. Let's see what else can we plant. Wheats, um, we can also plant. Eight wheats. And in case there is more space there, let's put, let's just take all the carrots and the potatoes in case there is more space. But I want to have it sort of uniform. Alright, farming tool I have. So the last thing is to go back to the house. Up the stairs build the last staircase then the villagers can come up and explore this area we'll have a door here okay let's run over to the end one of the rooms here will have a crafting table because I don't want to put it on top of the farm this also has to go There. We can, this room looks smaller, so let's put it in this room. Here, near the door. Let's take the farm tool. Maybe the farmer will be the first to come up here, because he might detect the plants. Otherwise, I'll have to lure them one way or another. There, farming is done. Let's do four seeds on each. So one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Probably the farmer will mix it up later. But um, one, two, three, four. 
two, three, four. I want more potatoes and carrots because those are the things I can trade. So let's do carrots. Maybe two more. And the rest potatoes. And that should be good enough. So this will this is the farming area. It's normally well lit. We'll add more torches to have maximum light for it to grow. I'll cover the waters uh, with um, where is it? A trapdoor so they don't go in and out and break any of the crops like that and like that so they can walk easily nobody will go in and out and they won't break any crops and here we'll need one two three doors and one two three four doors so that's seven doors oh I don't have enough planks okay three so we have nine here there can be beds, although I didn't bring it this time. Here. So only the beds and the workstations are missing now. There we go. We do have one bed up here, so somebody will go up there sleeping now. Okay, so that's why they're not exploring. This crafting table will move, doesn't have to be in, in the middle, it can be here, or they could fall from here. Yeah, I need to close this house as well, I don't want them to fall. So one staircase should be enough for them to come up to explore. Let's use... Okay, let's let's do it like this for now. We can change it later. We'll need some half slabs to close it off. Here. Here I need um, just for the sake of put it, placing the door. Oh, it cannot go on a staircase. Okay. So we'll make a window. No, but then they cannot get into the bed. Hmm, tough choice. Okay, the bed the bed will have to move. Something of the sort. Here we'll also have a glass. top here. Here we need half slabs to close off, but here is good with a full one. Alright, so this house is closed off so that they don't um, accidentally go to that or fall or something like that. We'll need two glass pieces here, so one here, one there, and two half slabs there and there of oh, three half slabs finally lights all right and that's done so we'll start luring um, it'll take time but we'll start luring those we'll start luring, luring villagers to this new living area up there let's go up observation pole and have a look how that looks there the bag is sorted so I needed um, one two three well 
let's just take the bunch of it. Maybe I'll change some stuff around. Just quickly to fix that. I hear zombies. They must be outside, or at least I hope they are. Alright. We'll quickly fix here. Glass, glass, oh it doesn't want to put the half slab, okay, so it won't have a half slab, that works, for some reason he doesn't allow me to put a half slab there, so what we can do is put a plank, We'll break this, and this, and put planks instead. Let's try half slap here, that works. Okay, from this side it's closed, from this side it's closed, and we can do this just for design's sake. And that bed will have to move. Nobody can enter there. So it can be here. Alright, I just wanted to quickly fix that. This guy is sleeping in open air. <laughs> that is, there is an entrance to his sleeping area, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Can't have it perfect. That's again the, the trader. Sometimes he scares you. The last thing we'll do is we'll go up the staircase and have a look from above how all that looks. We'll do that right now. Scrubbing this melon. Don't need that. There we go. All settled. These are the old working stations. I don't want them. I'll build new working stations for the new villagers. Way up high. There is the house of our weaponsmith. That's our massive new construction village from the air and we can see the entire village from this staircase observation area so if a zombie horde attacks we'll see it here are their rooms one two three and then one two wait one two and three i think possibly four i forgot already the crops are already growing so maybe and the beetroot is done so Maybe in the morning uh, the farmer might detect that area. Otherwise, we need to put beds there also and to lure uh, the villagers, we need to put the workstations and then they will go up there. All right, so that's done. Um, I also cannot wait for these two villagers to breed. So um, I'll try to lure more villagers up in that area some way. I don't know, I haven't thought of it yet. But uh, for now, this is it. So we can run back to um, we can run back home, and I think in the next part uh, we will do. Um, I will show you the the dungeon that I dug from my house area. There's a creeper. Let's get a shot at him. This bow is quite good. Two shots, they're dead. I still like using my axe when it's just one enemy. Where is that creeper? Here. It's looking for the experience blobs. Spider, zombie. Alright, more experience, more items. 
there's another creeper the grass makes it actually very dangerous for you to fight because you swing and you think it's going to hit the monster but it hits the grass instead wow a lot of them oh i don't want to die there are a lot of them The skeletons actually when they shoot the zombies they they make them angry and some monsters go and attack them. Quite a mess. But we made it. Let's take what we can. A <laughs> nice headshot. Skeletons win. Zombies lose. The sun is coming up. So we kill them before they burn. And I think if I had normal armor I would have died there. But because I now have enchanted armor, even though it's iron, it's all protection 3. And one is even protection 4. So that's quite a lot of damage reduction. So that's why I didn't die. Otherwise I think that area was quite dangerous. Wow, skeleton in the water. I was one second too late with the shield. Let's get some fish. There are a lot of them here. Good stuff. And we're almost there. The sword is quite damaged though uh, and one of the reasons for that is because if you use the sword on a bamboo or grass it gets damaged I think three times faster or something of the sword. Uh, let's check if the farm here is ready. Sword already? Sword or not? No, not really ready. Um, and uh, that's why it's dangerous to fight with your sword also in an open space where there's a lot of grass. Hitting the grass, look, all the durability is almost dead on that sword. So it's a really a waste, especially if it's an enchanted sword. So I have to be careful with that. I have a little bit of lag sometimes, but it's okay. Alright, and we made it back home. We can store whatever we gathered on the way. Not you. fish goes here. I almost have a stack of fish just by hitting a couple of fish uh, going to the village and back. This goes here. Miscellaneous items go here. And that goes to the second floor. So that's it for now. The axe is also almost dead. We can repair it with this axe or combine it. Axe is good. But this will break. I'll wait for this to break and I already have the new one ready to take its place. This way it's safer but it takes um, more, uh, it takes an additional um, b box in the inventory so it's blocking the the room in the bag but uh, it's the safer, it's safer to play that way I think. Up here on the second floor um, I don't know if I've shown you everything but here is the, the library. I still have to finish the carpet uh, and oh, I haven't shown you. I did some uh, so the this enchantments you saw. This is for my uh, water exploration. So we have aqua affinity respiration, going with Dep depth strider three. But I already started preparing a fire protection set. I'm missing now two pieces. Uh, let's see what level am I? Thirty two. We can check if any of them. Um, I want to make a fire protection only set. Oh, there, fire protection four. We'll do that. One, two, three. To go to the nether world. So then I will be fully protected from fire. 
So now I have the helmet prote fire protection 4, aqua affinity fire protection 4 boots and fire protection 3 leggings. And uh, I think any kind of fire protection I can take it or actually protection 4 is also good. So I need level 30 for that and then we'll do the chest and we will then be go to the nether world where it's full of fire and fury. So that's it for this part. We'll stop here and we'll continue in the next one.